Yo, what's up, guys? Teacher Paul over here. Good dagens. <laughs> Today we are reacting to Sweden. Hey, Sweden. So, as you may know, or not, may or may not know, I have been watching a few content um, from Sweden, right? And especially the one that I watched on Netflix, a program called This Is Pop. I think episode number four. Let me quickly. Um, like show. really did y'all think I, did y'all think my whole success was based so this is the episode that um t-pain is talking about autotune okay so episode three stockholm syndrome stockholm syndrome how did sweden become music's stealth superpower map its tr uh, pop <clears throat> trajectory with the arrival of abba Ace of Bass and producer sing songwriter Max Martin. <clears throat> Sorry, Ace I have something in my throat. Um, so I watched that episode and I was fascinated by Sweden. So we're gonna do more videos on Sweden. And this is the top ten facts about Sweden. So if you're from Sweden, let me know if this is true. Let's learn a little bit. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, don't forget subscribe if you like the content like the video if you like the content and let's go this is from the channel around the world this is quite an old video it's from 2015 but it was one of the most recommended it has more than 200,000 views and yeah let's see what they have to say Welcome to 10 Facts About Sweden. Number 1. Sweden's national animal is the moose. There are approximately 350,000 moose in Sweden. It wow. 350,000 moose in Sweden. Um, it's funny because a few days ago, was it days or I think last week, I actually found out that the moose is huge. I had no idea. I was on, on YouTube shorts and then this video came up where they said um, things that are bigger than you think. I mean, you might have come across that video and it showed that the moose is like over two meters. And wow, now that I look at the sign with the moose next to it, although it's photoshopped, it is huge. It's a huge animal. So I've seen a few videos. In fact, let me see if I if I can pull a video up. I'll just show you guys. Um, if you guys are not aware of the size of a moose, let me see. I'm I'm sorry for stopping the video so soon, but um, it's just something I want to share. Huge animal, huge. Look at this big fella here. Wow, Kalia, look at him. He's huge. Hey there, He's bud. Bigger than the Jeep. Look at hey that. Hey there, bud. You gotta. Guy has a broken wind. No, uh, hey side there, mirror. bud. Broken side mirror. Hey there, got a. Got a beer there, bud, huh? You just gonna send it? Wow, yeah? that is huge, man. Enormous. Okay. Enormous. <laughs> you just gonna send it there, eh, bud? Wow. Okay. I, I just wanted to, sh to share that video and wow. Okay. Let's keep going. Maybe they're, they're going to talk about the size of the moose, but wow, that's a big one. Thousand moose in Sweden. If a moose feels cornered, it sometimes lowers its head and rushes towards people. Wow. Every year there are approximately 6,000 road accidents involving moose. Each year about 100,000 moose are killed during hunting season in Sweden. Bro, did you see that? I don't know if you could see that carefully, but the moose just ran into the car. It almost jumped over it. Moose are killed during hunting season in Sweden. Number 2. Sweden is the birthplace of many successful companies. According to British Wired magazine, Sweden has the most digitally connected economy in the world. A few examples of these companies are IKEA. Yeah, 
Everyone knows Ikea. H and M. Spotify. Wait, I I feel like I've seen Skype. Yeah, can't remember all the the facts, but Spotify. I have a song that I released on Spotify, and it's Swedish. Well, I mean figures, right? Because Sweden is the the capital of good music. <laughs> and Skype. Somebody uh, mentioned Volvo as well. Number three. Sweden is one of the most internet active countries in the world. Wow. In fact, 94% of Sweden's population uses the internet regularly. That means that Sweden is fourth in the world, only beaten by Norway, Iceland and the Falkland Islands. Wow. That's good for, for my YouTube channel, <laughs> because if there are so many people online, then, you know, I can interact with the Swedes. Number four. The Sami people are indigenous people inhabiting the Arctic area of far northern Norway, Sweden, Finland and the Kola Peninsula of Russia. There are approximately 2,000 Sami living in Sweden. Number 5. Okay. There is a town in Japan called Sweden Hills. And as the name suggests it looks exactly like a regular Swedish neighborhood. The idea began when a Swedish ambassador visited the village and remarked how similar it was to his native wow. Sweden. I wonder why. Maybe um, there were families, Swedish families there that are Swedish engineers. I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. Why, why, why was it so similar? Number six. In Brazil, we have a few European communities in the south of Brazil. And it's very interesting because you, you can see like um, there are, I think, German communities and you can see the exact replica there. And we also have uh, one of the biggest or the, if not the biggest ja Japanese community in Sao Paulo. More than a hundred thousand Japanese um, people live there. In Sweden, high school students that are under 20 years old get paid 1,050 Swedish crowns a month just to go to school. What? It's called Studiebidrag and helps the students to get... It's called what? Just to go to school. It's called Studiebidrag and helps the students... Studiebidrag and... I couldn't understand, but... Mm, wow. They get paid to study? ...to get a feeling for the money. Number seven. Is that true? You get paid a thousand... It's called... thousand and fifty Swedish crowns a month. Just... I mean, it's not much. It's a hundred and twelve euros. But still, you get, you get paid to study. ...to go to school. It's called Studiebidrag and helps the students to get a feeling for the money. Number 7. The Swedish law written gives everyone the right to access, walk, camp and pick berries and mushrooms on any land. You also can swim and catch fishes in all the lakes. Really? You don't need a license? Number 8. You don't need a fishing license? Another very Swedish thing is snooze. Snooze is a moist powder tobacco product which is placed under the upper lip. There are two types of snooze. Loose snooze. You snooze, you lose. And portion snooze. This is a very Texan thing to do, isn't it? I don't know. If, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Number nine. You know, like, because I'm just saying that because we watch these movies and, you know, well, not Texas, but, you know, the hillbillies, they they like chewing tobacco, <laughs> according to the movies. I, I don't really know. You can correct me if I'm wrong there. Says Tembolaget is the only retail store in Sweden that is allowed to sell alcoholic beverages with more than 3.5% of alcohol. Really? Also, you have to be 20 years old or older to be able to buy any kind of alcoholic drinks in those stores. Wait a second. So you, there's only one store 
no, not one store, but one brand that you can buy alcohol above 3.5%, that feels like a government incentive. It feels like um, the government is behind this. I don't know. I mean, the whole population buying from one brand store, I don't know. It, it, it feels like a government incentive program or something like that. And the government may have some earnings, right? I don't know. I don't know how it works, but it feels like that. But it's it's I think it's the best way to control um you know who is consuming alcohol. So I think they have their rules. There there must be a very good reason for this. And guys, let me know if it's effective. It's very interesting and very good for the the, the store brand. Number 10. The Ice Hotel is a hotel built with snow and ice in the village of Jokersjövi in northern Sweden and it is the world's first ice hotel. We've After its this. first opening in 1990, the hotel has been built each year and is opened from December to April. Yeah, we've seen this one before. Okay. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more of this sheet. More of this what? <laughs> Did he actually say what I think he said? I mean, the whole video was so educational. And, and at the end, he just says, uh, well, I really enjoyed it. If you guys um, enjoyed this video, you can go and watch it in the, the link will be in the description. Uh, it looks like a very nice channel. Looks like they did their homework. Well, I'm not sure if everything is correct, so um, please let me know in the comments if all 10 facts are true. And I had a very good time learning more about Sweden. Let me know in the comments what you want me to react to next. And yeah, let's learn about other countries as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, like the video and leave your comment. And yeah, teach me something new. I'll see you guys. Take care now. Bye bye. It's funny because <laughs> I'm the teacher, but I want you guys to teach me. Well, we learn with each other, right? <laughs> see you. Bye bye.